This video is brought to you by 28 Mobile. And what's up everybody and this is Danny back again and today I'm going to be looking at the S charger cover and the S charger pad for the Galaxy S4 and a lot of people were looking for inductive charging to be included with the Galaxy S4 but they decided to release it as an accessory so let's take a look at it now see how much it costs and how it performs. The S charger cover here is a replacement back for the Galaxy S4 that has the inductive coils and this thing costs $39.99 and the S charger pad is just the platform that you would put it on to charge it and this thing is $49.99 so the combo of these two is really expensive $90 to get this so let's go ahead and unbox this and see what comes in the package and let's take the replacement cover out of the box and you can see the coil there and you can see the connector pins that you need to make this wireless charger thing happen on the Galaxy S4 and here is the S charger pad that is in white and gray and if I think it's available in black as well but I'm not quite sure but I think it's available in a different color but here is the gray pad and let's take that out of the box and here is some documentation as well but Who's going to read all this? Let's just throw this away and I'm going to show you how to use this. This charging pad actually has a pretty cool design to it. I really like it. I like the way it is beveled off on the edges there and rounded. And it has a nice grippy bottom to it. And if you need to know the specs here, it states that it's 5 volt and 2 amps charging. So I'll let you know how that performs later on in the video. And on the bottom, you see that it has a micro USB input for the power but they don't include a power cord or a power brick so let's go ahead and take a look at this and combine them together so the back plate goes on just like your regular back plate it's a replacement so it just clicks in just like that but just like their S view cover it does make it thicker and you can see that the camera is recessed in some and so is the LED flash so it does add a significant amount of bulk just like their S few cases so if you have one of those and you'll know exactly what it's like and here's a comparison there is the regular back that comes with it and there is the inductive charging back and you can see the difference it is definitely thicker so it will add some heft to your device but that's the price you have to pay I guess to have inductive charging so let's take that plastic part off the back and when you plug in the power here, you will see that there's an LED light as well on the charging pad itself. So let's go ahead and take the plastic off the charging pad and see how it performs. So let's take our trusty Galaxy S4 and we'll just drop that right on the pad. And there you go. Wireless charging is initiated and it's right there. Very, very easy. And you'll see the LED light actually come on green when it's charging too. So you don't have to look at the screen. And when you take it off, it goes off. You put it back on and the green light comes right back on. So it's nice and it'll tell you when it's charged. So I like that part of it a lot. I quite like the design of it. So it's a no-brainer that it works with the Galaxy S4. But it uses the same Qi wireless standard. So what about other phones that come with that Qi wireless inductive charging? Like the Nexus 4 or the Nokia Lumia 920 and the, some of the other Nokias. It works just fine. You can see that the Nexus 4 picks up that inductive charging no problem and I tested this it definitely works so you'll have no problem using this on your other Qi compatible devices so this is a fairly large pad much bigger than the Galaxy S4 itself but what about how you're supposed to place this thing so obviously you can place it this way or actually which is kind of funny is the coil is in the very middle of this pad so if you actually lay it this way it actually works too. Even though it's kind of hovering off of there, it still works. But any other way, it really doesn't work. So if you were to put it maybe down here, or if you were to kind of move it up to the top, or if you kind of dropped it off, it really doesn't work that way. But I don't know who will, but I just wanted to kind of show that. But if you move it to the middle where the actual Samsung logo is, that's where it's housed and it will work. But if you just leave it on here normally like this, it'll work no problem. 
So my quick time with this charger, I was able to test a little bit of the performance, but what I did was I set a stop timer for one hour and it had 65% charge. And after the one hour went off, it went to 95. So it charged 30% in one hour. So presumably it'll probably charge about three hours to three and a half hours for a full charge from zero. So it's actually not terrible, but I'd say about an average three hour charge. And I think that's pretty decent. Definitely faster than the Nokia Lumia 920 charging pad that I had of the past. So what do you guys think about this inductive charger? I mean, it's really nice. I think it's a good solution. But $90, are you guys really willing to spend that much? You could just go ahead and plug it into the USB. But I mean, if you're the person that really needs to have charging on the go or use this on the office or if you need to just put this down and have other charging methods, then this is a pretty good OEM alternative for you to have to have wireless inductive charging on your brand new Galaxy S4. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comments below and let me know what you think. If you have any questions about this charging pad, please leave your comments in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Please follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific. Thanks to 28 Mobile for sending this out. Hit that like button please if you like this video and I will see you in the next video.